Yeah, let's. Uh, I guess I. I guess let's get started. Uh, so welcome, Mania. Uh, and uh, if anybody joins us later, uh, we're just gonna take questions from them. So I have a brief agenda for uh, <laughs> today's talk. So it's very it's very informal. So you cannot like, ask any questions. It's not like our community meetup. It's more like so we can have a talk and you can ask questions. So at the beginning, we could, my idea is to just um, do short introductions. Um, and then uh, I'm going to answer questions from the audience. Uh, I also have a list of questions that comes from our community. So uh, if currently there will be no questions, this would be something we could get answered and maybe actually warm you up to so you actually can form your own questions. And at the end of the session, my idea is to have a short photo labeling project done using Toloka. So um, yeah, let's get started. Mm -hmm. Let me. So I'm a data evangelist at Toloka, and um, ah yeah, and welcome. We have another joiner. Uh, it's, I can't see the name here, um, but welcome. Um, so I'm a data evangelist at Toloka, and uh, basically I'm here, uh, here and on Slack all the time for you guys. So if you have any questions about uh, Toloka, how to use it. Uh, I'm always uh, able to help. If I don't know the answer, I actually have the ways to check the information and maybe talk to our technical people inside the company and get you the answers you need. Uh, I used to be a data scientist. So my background is in natural language processing. I have worked in the industry for several years, uh, developing machine learning models. So I know the problem of data labeling from the data scientist perspective as well. And well, uh, I know there is two guys joining us, Anya, and I can see the other name. Um, Roma, Roma. Roma. Yeah. So I don't know, can you, do you wanna tell us maybe a bit about yourself <laughs> or about like why you, you, you are here or uh, what you do? Why do you actually wanna use Toloka? Are you using it already or? Yeah, Anya, do you want to start? I know you. Uh, yeah, mm, I work at Antihop. We use Toka for uh, image and video labeling. Uh, we have a lot of projects with classification, segmentation, uh, text from images, and some uh, some own projects, I mean, with our own interface. Uh, so so I, may have, I may have some questions. Okay. <laughs> Sometimes uh, about bug, bugs. I don't know, should I ask them or not? <laughs> I think I, I will welcome any questions. And as I said, if I don't know the answer, I'll do my best uh, to answer to you later if I don't know it right now and maybe get back to you. So any questions are welcome. Okay. Have you, so uh, it's been long that you're using Toloka. How many projects or have you launched already? Uh, really a lot of projects. Okay. I use Toloka about more, for about more than a year. Okay. Okay, great. So you are an advanced user already. Yes, uh, I still haven't used uh, Tolka uh, API, uh, but okay. we use it. Uh, we have that engineer uh -huh. who who programmed some services for that okay. purpose. So I don't know how to use it still, but <laughs> I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna learn that later okay great it seems like it's easier to use apps than our the, the project version so yeah well well welcome Anya and uh, yeah I know Rama is from our team but uh Rama do you want to tell us do you actually have any questions or you want to make any comments right now 
Maybe, hi, if I have a, any questions, yes, yeah, some questions I will ask that. Now I, uh, here I represent some uh, uh, clients who want uh, to use the Taloka and want okay. to, yeah, to know about uh, some real experience. Okay. Uh, just for that reason here. Okay. Okay, great. So I think, guys, uh, thank you, Roman, for the introduction as well. And I think um, this would be the time. Uh, do you have any questions right now that come to your mind that I could help you? Anya or Roman? Oh, me? Not. Uh, uh, there is a, around me so crowded, maybe. I, I, I will write it <clears throat> in the chat. Okay, okay. Anya, you? Um, yes, uh, first question about uh, some bug or, or feature, maybe it's feature that recently, okay. <laughs> that I noticed <laughs> recently. Uh, so uh, if we try to open projects from main project, from main page of Toluca uh -huh. as a request, uh, uh, it used to be that you can easily open it in, in other tab, but if you try it now, it will be, uh, I think it's a type of link that you can give to Toloker so he can open your project. But if we can, we, we are trying to open it, then it, uh, that is not open <laughs> like you want. Okay, so it doesn't open in a new tab or it doesn't yes, open? Yes. Okay. Okay, well, I think the only thing I can do it, I can write it down and um, basically put it on the bug list. Um, um, and I can basically pass it to our team and see if this could be fixed in any near future. This is what I think I can do in this case. Okay. And <laughs> yeah. funny thing that I just tried to do it and somehow there is it no works? system. Yes. <laughs> now okay. it's working. Maybe it's already fixed. Okay. Okay, so... Um, well, I'm gonna put a note on this anyway, and in case uh, uh, in case it's still buggy, I'm gonna report it as well. Any any other questions that you have? Um, I don't know. Is this a question? Or, I don't know. Uh, sometimes we notice that uh, if you use uh, the type of this type of data when you use not links but a uh -huh. proxy uh, uh -huh. i mean with yandex disk okay sometimes the users can't open these pictures oh okay i don't know why uh, it seems like it happens only with Yan yandex disk uh -huh. uh, we use uh, yandex cloud in... do you have a particular example maybe you can show me i mean Again, it's something I probably cannot fix now, but maybe I can point our our team to have a look at it if I see a proper example. If you don't right mm. now, you can send it over to me later. Yeah, I think I can send it to you later because uh, the only thing I can show you is messages from users. <laughs> in class. Ah, okay, okay. Okay, so you didn't, okay. Uh, it, I know that it it works for most for the most of users, but sometimes, sometimes like it doesn't... a small part of users writing that they cannot open they can they can see pictures. Okay. And they this usually happens when we have pictures from uh, Yandex disk. Okay. Okay, I'm putting this uh, on my notes as well, and I will ask about this. Um, I guess we, I will investigate as well if there are other people having the same problem and what could be causing it. And I'll try to get back to you with the answer if it's a known issue or 
and how we plan to address it. Okay. Uh, any other questions? Um, maybe I wanted to know more about app projects. Mm -hmm. uh, it's interesting. Um, I wanted to know how many time does it take, uh, how, how many time does talk take to, to prepare app projects? I mean, we, we, when we is a request, a request to do project. Okay, so again, I guess it depends on the volume of data you have. Um, so I, I don't know the exact answer to this question. So uh, let's imagine that you're trying to label 1000 pictures. I think the idea is that uh, you would get your results pretty quickly, uh, something like several hours or maybe a day. But obviously, if the volume is much bigger, um, that would change as well. I mean, you're planning to use apps, and do you have an idea of how much, how many pictures you want to label, and what's the nature of it? Like. Um. We just thought that maybe we can use it when we need to do some new type, new type of labeling when there okay. is no, no, uh, where is, I can't remember this English word. <laughs> uh, uh, when we need to do some new project that is not classification, uh -huh. not segmentation. Uh -huh. uh, maybe there is uh, a number of pictures on screen and people need to uh, mark some of them with check boxes. Okay, and so bounding so, boxes, yeah? No, no, no? bounding boxes, uh, check boxes. But ah, classification, check. but maybe it's uh, a number of pictures and the, it is one task, not. Mm. Okay, mm -hmm. so there are several pictures that that would constitute a task, yeah? Yeah, and for example, we need to, uh, we need to know is uh, one person all this, on all these pictures or is it, uh, number okay. of persons. Okay. We need to know on what picture we have one person and on what picture we have other person. Okay. And okay. Mm -hmm. So it's it's a case when we don't have template. Uh, usually it takes some time in our team to develop this new template template. And we thought that maybe it would be more effectively to give this part of job to talk yeah. up. I don't know if you can uh, upload several pictures to one task in the app. Uh, oh, okay. uh, I'm pretty sure you can do side by side comparison. So um, I think two pictures, yes. Where you could maybe ask is the person the same on those two pictures? Maybe if you divide it, I, and I'm not, that's the thing, I would have to check. I'm not sure if you can upload more than two in the apps for one task. Okay. Uh, I just, I think I, I've read somewhere that if there is no, uh, if there is no template, uh, uh -huh. template. I think I, I've seen somewhere that somewhere was written something like uh, if there is no such template you can write us and we will think about it. <laughs> yeah I mean it's definitely so right now the app solutions they are just a um, couple of different scenarios that we have covered but it's definitely something like if we see that people are interested in other type of cases, uh, that's something definitely that could be developed. So I'm gonna ask about uh, this, if it's possible right now, which I think it's not, and if it would be possible with apps in the future. It's definitely possible like uh, using the project. 
Yeah, uh, now but we're doing it exactly. Scripts. I understand that the setup might be a bit difficult, and it would be easier to do with apps. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna investigate this for you and uh, get back to you on this as well. Okay. Any any other questions that you have? I'm really happy that you actually have a lot of questions. Uh, because, um, yeah, uh, just. I think there is no more question, but maybe one feature request. Uh -huh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I, I've already asked for this a long time ago. Uh, uh -huh. It um, will be more useful if uh -huh. tabs, tabs with talk uh, will uh, be called not talk. Uh, earn money online with their investment. But if I open project, then the stuff will be called uh, okay. with, this, with the name of project. It will be okay. easy to, mm -hmm. to okay. work with Toluca. Okay, I'm, put a, I'm gonna put a note on this as well. And um, yep. So I think that's all from me. <laughs> I mean, great request, actually, the last one probably very useful. Um, well, as, we, as I see, we don't have any other joiners. So I don't know. Um, my idea, as I said, because um, we have some questions for the community uh, that we could answer. So because there's no more people joining us right now, my idea would be to go maybe through these questions with you. And if you are interested in them, <laughs> I could actually answer them. So uh, some of them probably will be not relevant to you. So that's why I'm saying like, if it's not relevant, we can just skip it. Uh, let, do you think it's a good idea? Um, uh, I see this uh, list of this, this is yeah this is the list this is the first one for example how to become a customer so you don't need to answer this question you <laughs> obviously we can yes. skip this one is my task um, suitable for toloka uh, so this is one we actually already discussed uh, do you have any other projects that you want to ask that it's somehow suitable for toloka or i think no okay let's Keep this one as well. What is the cost per task? I don't know, maybe, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Maybe you have actually any questions like this or can you share us actually how you, you decide how much you pay the users uh, for the, I mean, do you actually, what we usually recommend is to run it as a user, as a performance and see how long it takes you to complete and then try to come up with the price. I don't know. Maybe from your own experience, you have a better way to do it? Mm, no, I think it's the best way. <laughs> okay, uh, so. We uh -huh. just somehow decided what prices we are using. And if we see that our new task takes more time than previous task, then we set okay. higher price. Okay, yep. So that's a reasonable way to do it, I guess. How to add a trusted user correctly? I don't know if you are interested in this question. This is about uh, our sandbox. Oh, yeah, I have some, uh, I think, a question about this question. Okay. <laughs> I don't know, uh, a long time ago, I became Toloker, but I didn't do any task. And uh -huh. when I wanted to start using Toloker as a requester, uh -huh. Uh, of course, I use it not from my personal account, but I wanted to try uh, in my personal account too, but I found out that it's, it's blocked and I, cannot <laughs> <laughs> and I cannot do it anymore and I still have no idea why is it blocked and I thought maybe I can just uh, so right to talk like I, <laughs> that I, I use it as a request and maybe uh you can unblock me <laughs> so basically you are first a talker and then become a requester yeah 
Yeah, but uh, it did not use, allow you. <laughs> I use com I use company account to to do ta to create tasks, uh, but if I was not blocked blocked uh -huh. talk, I could be a trusted user. Okay, um, and uh, test. But uh, now I have to use as a person's account. Yeah, I understand. I think that the idea of a trusted user is only for a sandbox. So there is no option like this in our normal accounts. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and I, I'm going to write it down. I think it's a known issue. So basically, having being a toll locker, you cannot be a requester. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm blocked. Yeah. Toll locker deleted. <laughs> My account is deleted and I cannot uh, use it anymore. Yes. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to put a note on this as well. Uh, yeah, the thing about the trusted user, I can actually show you because this should open actually my own thing. This is my sandbox account. And you can see that uh, uh, profile uh, users. And here you have the option to add trusted users. This is the sandbox. But this option actually does not exist in the, um, let me log into my account. This is our, my, my own real account as a requester. This option, you can see that it actually does not exist here. So this option to add trusted users is pretty much for a sandbox. Oh, okay, I understand. Uh, recently, we had project and we wanted to test it how it will look for user and uh -huh. I, I just created skill that uh -huh. I assigned to my trusted user <laughs> and then I launched project that will be available only to person who has the skill to only one person okay. and try to do it and, and I you there is a question uh, uh -huh. I've read in talk uh, in talk rules that you cannot uh, give give tasks to your own workers uh, through okay. talk, uh, like it is not very legal i i guess what okay and but it, you know it will it be problem if i just uh, launch it for one user and i will receive as it is yep. a trusted user only two cents <laughs> it must be so the best way what you wanted to do is is to create an a requester account on a sandbox, create a performer account on the sandbox, add a trusted user by showing it here and test it from the sandbox. Once you mm -hmm. test it from the sandbox, you can migrate the project to your main Toloka account. Mm -hmm. have, you, have you ever done this that way? Uh, yeah, maybe I have done it. I know that also we can't migrate from from main Toloka to Sandbox. Uh huh. If you want to test. Yeah, I think this is the best way to do it. Okay. Yeah, this is at least how I have uh, done some projects, and that worked for me. Um. Any other questions on this? Or uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Let's have a look at what what is the next questions we have here. Okay, how do I download files from Yandex Disk? So again, this is something you already know because you connected Yandex Disk, and also actually you have some problems um, with it. So this is something I I have added to my notes, and I'll get back to you on why. Why is it so? And if other people are experiencing it as well. Okay, thank you. Could we share oh, these uh -huh. answers in um, in general, not in, in in private message? Yeah. Sorry. Could we share it in a general so probably some other requesters can see the answer of this uh, of this question? 
uh, for, for the Yandex disk? Yeah. Can... Yeah. Okay. So guys, I show you. So this is can be how you add Yandex disk basically. Oh, this is my Yandex disk. I already have account. The important thing is that it has to be connected to the same email address that is connected to your Toloka account. So I believe this is connected to my private email. And this is my sandbox. This is my main Toloka account. So what you have to do is you have to go to profile, external services and integration. Here, you will have a button called connect Yandex disk or something like this. Connect Yandex disk. I already connected it. That's why it doesn't show up here. But you have to click on this. And then the next step is to click on add proxy. And basically, you can name it whatever you want. So it should be unique. I'm going to name my Magda. Magdas Toloka type Yandex disk. There's no, you cannot choose anything else. Then you can choose permissions. It's either public or private. I suggest you choose public. So the public, it means that you can actually, all the users will be able to see uh, the pictures. So basically you can use them in, in instructions. If you choose private, only users who actually are taking the survey will be able to see it. And then you should uh, create a folder name, which basically uh, will be a folder that will get created on your Yandex disk. So I can call it Toloka, uh, well, Toloka, Photo, photo project, something like this. And you just click save. It's all getting set up. And hopefully by now, this have created this account, this folder on my Yandex disk. Yep. You can see that it's actually in files, applications, Toloka, Toloka photo project. And there's actually already an example that somehow already automatically they gave me a picture from Toloka. And how do you use it then? Once you connected your Yandex disk, as you can see, you have several here. You should see only one in yours. But basically, which is the last one I did, I think it's this one. Uh, basically, by calling this URL, Magda's Toloka example JPG, you can basically use it in Toloka, in instructions or in your task. So I hope that answers the question with the Yandex disk. And the next question that it comes from our community, how do I launch a survey? So, uh, Anya, I don't know if this is relevant to you, but if you did, if it, if you did not know about it, we have a special um, template for it. So basically, to launch a survey, you go to projects, uh, you go to create new project, and as you can see, there is no app for it. Um, but there is a survey down here you just go select the template and you can actually start filling it in um if you want to see you can see actually how such a task would look like so for example there is an example survey this one has some balance to took in there is only one answer here so uh, there is a possibility of the, doing survey with several answers like this one or actually you can ask questions that require some typing. So, yeah, and this is basically of the way to do it. In order to edit this, basically you have to edit the code here. Uh, let's see what's the next question here. Where can I test the project for a mobile? So, um 
this is an interesting one. There is no so-called uh, special interface to test it with Toloka. So I would say the best way to do it is to create Sandbox accounts and try to create it, uh, test it that way in order to get a version for a mobile of Toloka of, from the sandbox, for the sandbox, you would have to ask our support uh, and they would give you an access to the version, to the build, and basically you would be able to test it that way. Anya, I don't know, is it something that actually interests you as well? Yes, that's interesting. <laughs> okay. Well, so hopefully this will help as well. Um, how do I set a filter in the pool by age? Okay, and I believe the next question is very similar. So actually I'm gonna show you guys. And then how do I set a filter in a pool by different cities? So all of this is done with pool settings. So in order to be able to edit pool settings, you already have to have a project created. So I have some projects that have been created here. So I'm just going to open one of them. It doesn't matter for now what the project is. And I'm going to click Add Pool. And basically, all our filters are here in the Audience tab. And if you want to select people by age, it's actually a bit weird because you have to choose date of birth. And basically, if you would want to choose people who are, let's say, older than 20, we are in year 21, so they would have to be, be born before year 91. So then you would have to do something like this, equal or less. Let's take the current date, which is 26, and then change this year to 01, I believe. This would give you all the people that are older than 20. So that would be the way to do it with Toloka. And the other question that was very similar was uh, how to filter by city. Uh, we have actually a field special filter here, which is called city. <laughs> And you can basically say people that are from a particular city and you can add several cities if you want, or you can actually say people that are not from this city. So that would be something like this. These are all people that belong to all different cities except Kirst. So this is the answer to this question. Uh, sorry, that was a bit fast. And the next question is, how do I get the opportunity to check the responses um, sorry, of performance and how to perform the check? Okay, this is a good question. And then again, I can demonstrate it using some project that I have already done. It doesn't matter what project is so much, but I have run already so a, a project here. Um, Actually, sorry, I didn't want to edit it. What I wanted to do is, okay, this is a pool already. So, uh, yeah. I'm trying to find a pool that I have already run, but I can't see it anymore. Uh, maybe you need to click on the button archive, archived in projects. Uh, there can be ar archived pro pool inside of active, pro active project. Uh, okay. Okay, maybe you're right. Maybe they are all... No, no, you just, you need to go to project <laughs> and okay. inside of it, uh, on left, uh, there is 
Okay. Yes. Okay, thank you. <laughs> so thank you, Anya, for helping with this. And this is uh, the uh, project I've already done. So as you can see, there was 225 tasks that I ran in the past. And how do I want to check how the, what are the answers? Basically, you just click on view assignments and you can see every single answer here. Um, so let's click on the first one here and I can see that those were the questions and those are also questions and answers actually where this person with this number have given me to this um, to this actually uh, task. I'm sorry, you can't see pictures. I don't know why, but uh, <laughs> not loading. But I can actually see all the answers here and I can see how much time it took for a person to submit this and when they did it. So this is just one person and basically you can check like this every single answer if you want to. So this is another person. So this is the answer to this question, how to check the AI. Per performance check. And then the next question, what are the main differences between apps and the projects on the platform? So this is a question that Anya had a bit similar. I think she already knows uh, the basics, but this is what basically the difference is. Uh, so the first, the picture here shows you what a normal project looks like. And we have six different steps, which are the composition, instructions, interfaces, quality control, pricing, and results. So a requester, when starts a project, he has to do all of them. And then obviously there's project maintenance. And what app change, thanks to apps, what is happening is actually there is a part that the four last parts can be skipped. Basically, all the interfaces, quality control, pricing result, you, a requester doesn't have to care about it. Basically, this is done by Toloka inside. Uh, the only thing that you need to do using apps is to decompose your task and write, inst write instructions and basically wait until the results are ready which hopefully does not take too long. So this is the idea behind it. Uh, Anya, do you actually have any questions about, about this? Any more questions about the apps here? Uh, no, no more question about this. Okay. Right. Are there any secure ways to host the data? Huh. So maybe Anya, you can later uh, tell us how you host it. I don't know if it's only Yandex disk, but there are several ways to do it here. So for something that like smaller projects, we, you can actually use this um, for the hosting services. Uh, but actually, if you wanna to deal with a lot of data, these are the... Um, the hosting services we recommend. So this is Amazon S3, Azure, Google Cloud, and Yandex Object Storage. Uh, as we know, the, the fastest integration is probably using Yandex Object Storage as you can actually connect it directly through the button there. But other free services that are here actually are pretty use, easy to use. And if you talk about security, Again, this is something that basically uh, depends on the storage you choose. So your data is not stored in Toloka, it's stored on, on those um, clouds. So security depends on, on actual services this cloud provider gives you. Anya, did you use any other storages that, uh, except Yandex or? Um. In most of cases, my team uses Yandex object okay. storage, no, Yandex cloud. And okay. yeah, we find the way to, to make links work more than, for more than it used to work. And now it's very, very useful. Okay, okay. 
So, uh, yeah, so this is someone talking from experience. Uh, Anya uses the Yandex storage, but all of those four would be good enough to actually use to work on. Ah, this is, uh, I think, the last question, if I remember. How does overlap uh, work? So this is a, a question probably from someone who is just starting using Toloka. So uh, basically overlap means that several people would do the same task. So if, they over, if you use an overlap of five, basically the same task will be done by five different people. Uh, you want to do it because uh, basically not all answers in Toloka can be fully trusted. So in, to ensure quality, you actually want to give the same task to several people and maybe use techniques like uh, majority vote, voting or other aggregation technique but, but then to decide which of the answers is the right one. And I think um, there are no more questions from the community itself. Maybe during this time, Eva did any other questions advised with you, Anya, at this stage? I think I have no more question about the platform, maybe about Toluca community. Uh -huh. uh, it feels like it will be useful to know more, uh, more about how other requesters use Toluca. I, I think that Meetup Meetups are useful, but uh, sometimes uh -huh. I'm interested in more particular questions, such as uh, do a lot do a lot of requesters use rehabilitation? Uh, for example, we somehow <laughs> we do our project without rehabilitation, uh, and it works okay for us, but uh, I've read your tips in <laughs> in Slack and thought that maybe we, we should try it, but also it would be interested to know if other requesters use it or is it also okay to not use it? What do you mean by rehabilitation? Uh, it's when user is banned, banned yeah. okay. from project mm -hmm. and he can uh, he can do new exam. Okay, uh, so did you try this? No, we still didn't try it. Uh, okay, what well, yeah, and it will uh -huh. be interesting to know how many of requesters use it. And okay, other particular questions like uh, what is the overlap that other requesters use? Okay. Because, uh, we just use our numbers and we think that it, it's okay, but maybe some re other requesters Great. Can, can tell that uh, other overlap will be more useful. Okay, what overlap uh, other requesters are using? So, uh, and what um, quality to speed uh, parameter? So you, you basically wanting to find out the quality settings that are basically effective, but do not slow down the pool, yeah? Um, yes, uh, just we use our settings and we used to it and we think that they are effective, but uh, maybe we need to try new things, new settings. Okay. Maybe we don't see something. <laughs> okay, do you think, okay, this is actually very interesting. And it, I think it would be a great idea to ask this in the community and, and, and uh, other people uh, can share. Actually, if you want to, feel free to ask this in the channel. Um, maybe some people would get engaged and uh, what I could do it, um, I could actually, if it's a topic of interest, maybe it's something that besides asking in the community, maybe we could pr pr uh, prepare it as a topic for one of our of the our community events. 
So we have some of the people also inside uh, Toloka uh, that are basically crowd solution architects and they have vast experience in designing um, such projects. Would it be interesting for you and I guess for others to actually have a presentation when they would actually share those details, like what overlap they use, what quality settings they use, and uh, if they use the rehabilitation pools. So there are people who have launched a lot of projects in Toluca, and I think they would have interesting, um, interesting basically settings to share with you. Would it be interesting to you to have like a presentation about it? Yeah, that would be actually great. Yeah, so I think we could uh, plan something like this, probably maybe for a new year, some event in a new year. And I think other people in the community would actually appreciate this knowledge as well. Uh, Anya, any other suggestions or questions here? No, thank you very much for all answers. I'm, I'm glad I could help a bit. The idea was, uh, but I think it's not needed anymore, to run this hands-on photo labeling project. Uh, I know that it probably will not be of interest to you because you are an experienced user, but it could have been to other people who are coming. Um, and they basically starting with Toloka, but obviously we don't even have time to do it today. We we. We, we're running out of time. Uh, so this is something, if there is interest, that we could do another, uh, another day, another Q&A session, or maybe a special event that could actually uh, help people to start a project. Uh, what I wanted to also share at the end here is useful links um, for us today. Uh, so, a lot of questions that I have answered today uh, could be actually the answer could be found in the requester guide. So this is something I actually encourage beginners and also advanced user of Toloka to actually have a look and see if uh, some of the questions are actually included or you can find answers to them here in the requester's guide. Another useful link um, I have here is Toloka Knowledge Base. So this is a place where we have uh, some example projects that actually will help you to start with Toloka. This is again, probably for people who are uh, beginning uh, their journey, although they are some more advanced project like this one, object detection uh, one, it's a bit more complex uh, in, in a way how the project is set up. So if you already started and know some basics, this could be a good project for kind of intermediate level people to try. And obviously, uh, if you, <laughs> you are here probably because you are in our community, but if somehow you are here, <laughs> um, from some other source, this is a link to our community and you can join us on the Slack channel. Um, so I think that would be everything for today's session. I don't know any other questions or Valia or Katia, I can see you are here. And do you want to add any comments here? Thank you very much for this session and uh, it was really useful i guess so i think we can write a small follow-up about what we are we're talking today so probably it can be useful for a lot of people okay i think maybe it's because it's uh, already friday evening for some people <laughs> so probably not so many participations today yeah uh, we we had only one participant but uh, Anya was really engaged, so I hope we have solved some of the questions she had, and hopefully if other people are going to see this video, they're going to find it useful as well. So thank you guys. Thank you, Anya. Thank you, Valia, for joining. And I guess I see you probably on the next Tomoka meetup.
Hi, everyone. What's up? Yeah, so hey. we're going to announce it soon and uh, next week. And uh, just like a small insight, it's going to be on 4th of and uh, 14th of December. And Anya, about like the meetup that we can organize with you, it's going to be next year in January. So no worries. We have plenty of time to, to, to organize it and prepare a good talk.